What's up guys and welcome to Mid Busting Mondays episode 42. This is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you have any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those in the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. You can also send the myths over to us on Twitter. We are at Codename Pizza. Let's aim for 3,115 likes on this video guys. You know how we do. And without further ado, let's get on to the first myth. The first myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Logan Bermudez. And he asks, can you stop the propeller trap with killing time gobblegum? Pizza emoji, pizza emoji, pizza emoji. Or even better yet, Logan, can we stop both of the traps in Zetsubonoshima with the killing time gobblegum and also walk through them while they are still active? But their propellers are stopped. I don't know. But let's go and check this thing out. So the first one that we are going to try out right now is the fan trap that's located in the bunker. So we've got that killing time gobble gun. We're going to activate the trap right now. And we'll go and see what happens. So here we go. We're going to walk through in three, two, one. Yeah, no. That was pretty obvious though because the fan didn't stop at all. So that was pretty obvious. But let's go and check out the plane trap. So we're over here at the plane trap right now. We do have that killing time gobble gun once again. And we're going to activate the plane trap right now. Let's count down in three, two, one. Oh, the propellers have stopped, dude. The propellers have stopped. Let's see. No. Oh, okay. So there you go. You cannot survive the traps walking through them if you've got that killing time gobble gun on. So they are always deadly. But you can stop the propellers. So, Logan, you are correct on that one, dude. Great mid there, boys. But unfortunately, this cannot be used in game because we cannot survive walking through them with that killing time gobblegum. But let's go on to the next myth of today's show. So, the next myth of today's show has been sent in by Josh Wu Cool. And he asks, does Swordplay affect the Annihilator Pistol Melee? Wow, this is pretty awesome. So, to do this, we need to go onto the Giants. We've also got to activate all of the Teddy Bears after doing the Fly Trap to get the Annihilator Pistol. And now that we've got that, we can go and see if Swordplay works on this thing. But to see if it works, we've actually got to get a Melee kill with the Annihilator to begin with. So, here we go. Let's see how many hits it will take on a zombie to kill him with the Annihilator Pistol right now. That's one, two, three... <laughs> Four, five, six. Okay, so that's six hits with the Annihilator Pistol right now to kill a zombie. Now let's try and get Swordfly out of the Gobblegum Machine, and then we can see if this thing is effective and even better than what it was before. So let's hit that Gobblegum Machine. Hopefully it will be Swordfly. Let's have a look. It is green. We've got that thing right there. And let's see how many hits of the Annihilator it will now take to kill a zombie. So let's go and check this thing out. There's one and two. Wait, we get we go, dudes. That's crazy. Two hits of the Annihilator Pistol with Swordplay. So yes, dude, Swordplay does work on the Annihilator Pistol on the Giant. That's crazy. I honestly did not think that would work. I know it says all melee weapons, but that's just a pistol at the end of the day. And it doesn't work on the shield. Treyarch, you need to fix your stuff, dude. But there you go. That's actually pretty awesome. So whenever I'm on the Giant, I probably use this, even though there's the Bowie knife as well. I don't know. But that is freaking awesome, dude. Big shout out to you for leaving that myth, dude. And let's get on to the next myth of today's show. The next two myths of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Ruth G. Hittle and also Flinty Aurora. And they ask, can you use the Now You See Me Gobblegum, which allows all zombies to come only after you on the map, with either a turned zombie or a friendly thrasher? So this is going to be super interesting to go and check out. So the first one we're going to be trying out right now is the friendly thrasher. So we've got the Now You See Me Gobblegum. Let's go and get that friendly thrasher who's just in this room right here. Let's go over to him. Let's activate the Gobblegum and... No! There you go, dude. So the friendly thrasher does not come after you with the Now You See Me Gobblegum. He's still that friendly guy over there. And I never even knew that right there as well. We can actually pop the spores on the friendly thrasher and knock his head off as well. I never understood that. But let's go on to the next one, guys, which is going to try the Now You See Me Gobblegum out on the turned zombie. So I have got the turned upgrade on this weapon right here. I'm going to make my way into the bunker right now. We're going to go and make a turned zombie to begin with. And oh, nope, not one there. And let's see where we go. Right, there we go. Now we've got that turned zombie. Let's activate now. You see me? Let's see. No, all the zombies are still coming after us though, but he does, definitely doesn't want us. He definitely doesn't want us right there. You guys saw, he was still for a second. He definitely does not want us. So there you go. Now you see me, Gobblegum does not affect the turn zombies and it doesn't affect the friendly thrasher either. So let's go on to the next myth of today's show. 
So leading on from that last myth, guys, we've got Hardcore Gaming and also Geometry Dash Aruz, who asks, does fear in headlights work on turned zombies and also the friendly thrasher? So the first one that we're going to do right now is the friendly thrasher. So this gobblegum is supposed to stop all enemies that you look at, and they will freeze just like you are using Killing Time. So we're going to build this friendly thrasher right now. Let's get him. He's spawning into the map. Let's go and activate our fear in headlights gobblegum, and let's see... No, no, it does not affect it one little bit, dude. I'm actually pretty blown away that Treyarch have managed to code this correctly. That now you see me and also fear and headlights do not affect this friendly thrasher. But let's go and check out on this turn zombie right now and go and see if this affects it as well. So let's go and check this thing out. So we're going to shoot it. Let's make a turn zombie and... No, it doesn't affect the turn zombie either. So that is really crazy. Yeah, well done, Treyarch. I'm actually applauding you right here. Well done. That's really good that they've managed to code the game actually really correctly because sometimes they overlook some of these things but that's really good i'm pretty amazed with that so well done drown big shout out to you guys a big shout out to geometry dash and also hardcore gaming for sending those myths in and let's get on to the next myth of today's show the next myth of today's show guys has been sent in by roblox fan x30 and they ask can you use anywhere but here gobblegum whilst on zipline by the way love your videos thank you so much roblox i appreciate that a lot dude big big shout out to you now we've already tried this on solo but we wanted to see if this thing would work on co-op as well so i'm gonna take the zipline and whilst i'm on the zipline i'm actually gonna activate the anywhere but here gobblegum now the game doesn't allow you to activate any gobblegum whilst on the zipline so it only activates once you exit the zipline or drop off so what we need to do is my buddy lime tannic whose link will be in the description right now as well if you want to check his channel out will drop me down into the water and then hopefully the anywhere but here gobblegum will teleport me to another side of the map that is what we're thinking but let's go and try this thing so i'm going to activate the zip line right now and there we go yes dude it does work anywhere but here gobblegum does work on the zip line on co-op and on solo so if you guys need any help and you kind of think you may fail on the dock step of the easter egg where you get that cock off the dock then all you've got to do is use the anywhere but here gobblegum and you are pretty much safe no matter what or you could use aftertaste whichever you guys prefer but there you go roblox fan x30 big shout out to you for sending that myth in dude and let's get on to the next myth of today's show the next myth of today's show, guys, has been sent in by Max Johnson. And he asks, purple plant versus monkey bomb next. Pizza emoji, pizza emoji, pizza emoji. Now, last week, we did the now you see me gobblegum versus the purple plant. Let's go and see what happens with the purple plant versus the monkey bomb. So if you guys don't know, the purple plant is the plant that attracts all zombies to go to that plant. And also, the monkey bomb, if you guys don't know, which you should know, is the bomb that attracts all zombies to go to that. So what is going to work here, dude? So, we've got the purple plant right there. We're going to throw a monkey bomb and let's check this thing out. And all the zombies seem to be going to the monkey bomb. So, there you go, dude. That is a guaranteed winner right there. Monkey bomb comes in first place, dude. Purple plant, you are a loser. <laughs> purple plant, you, you need to get out of here, boy. But monkey bomb, you are definitely the winner right there, dude. So, Max Johnson, great mid there, dude. Monkey bomb will always win no matter what. What a great mid. And purple plant, get out of here, son. Get out of here. But let's get on to the final myth, the most ultimate myth of today's show guys the final myth of today's show guys has been sent in by trust the king and he asks can you use the spider bait at the jump scare easter egg that's right guys we are gonna do this right now so we're gonna go and try and activate the jump scare inside of zed's bonoshima if you guys don't know how to do that it's pretty simple you've just got to go over to these test tubes in the bunker and aim down your sights with a snipe rifle and just look at them for a random amount of time it's so random right now no one really knows exactly how to do it but still we can get the jump scare spawned in once i see that jump scare i'm gonna run over to him inside my spider bait mode and we can see what happens so here we go let's go and check this thing out. i'm gonna move away from this guy right here let's run up here oh there he is dude he's literally there right now let's go and do this let's get into our spider bait mode let's walk up to him once no way no way <laughs> no way dude what just happened what lich i have no idea what just happened that was I honestly didn't think this would work, but that is insane. Okay, so yes, dude, you can do the spider bait jumps here inside of Zetsmono team. I don't even know what just happened, dude. It lasted about three seconds, and we just went flying around the map. But I mean, that, that was pretty sick. Just the king, that was an amazing... <laughs> That was an amazing mid right there, dude. But uh, that is the end of Mythbusting Monday's episode 42. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop that like button right now, guys. Let's aim for 3,115 likes on this video. You know how we do. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Become the latest member of the Pizza Club. If you've got any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those in the comment section right now. Make sure you go and check out my buddy Lime Tanik's channel, who helps us out with Miss Busting today. He's trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you guys could go and subscribe to him, his channel link will be in the description right now under Lime Tanik. Just please go over to him, click that subscribe button, and that would be greatly, greatly appreciated, dudes. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and peace out.